Enough. What's next? Not much. I think it's time to share some plans for the next releases of the INAF. Uh, first of all, somewhere in the probably in the late August, there will be INAF 5.1, which will solve uh, some of the problems discovered for the INAF 5. We already have quite a lot of the things uh, in the workings right now, and uh, probably we will just make the minor, really minor release of the INAF 5.1 one as soon as uh, enough of the time will pass for us to know what's really going on and what kind of the bug fixes we get. No new features, uh, maybe something for the configurator but that's not really des decided yet so I would not really count on any new features but there will be a few bug fixes including maybe the improvement of the handling of the uh, full chip erase problem that we have uh, right now. And then there will be INAF 6. INAF 6 is scheduled for the end of this year. And INAF 6 uh, will be a huge cleanup release because with INAF 6 we will really clean up a lot of legacy and old and crappy, not used and absolutely not used by anyone stuff. INAF 6 will remove the code base for the F3 flight controllers. You will not be able to compile F3s at all. INAF 6 will remove not popular, and by not popular I really do mean not popular and not use GPS protocols. MTK and the DJI NASA protocols are gone from the INAF 6. INAF 6 also will not release hex files for the non-popular flight controller. And by non-popular flight controller uh, we have uh, I decided that the non-popular flight controller is the flight controller that has less than 100 connects in the last six months. On top of that, for sure, we will drop the non-popular RC protocols. In the previous releases, we dropped PPM, we dropped PWM. Uh, now, with INAS 6, we will do a kind of big cleanup over there as well. Uh, first of all, the uh, XBUS uh, protocol, that was, I think, uh, JR protocol. Uh, JR radios, I think, used the XBUS and <sighs> There was like three attempts to set this protocol in the last half a year. So that means that nobody really is using XBus protocol. So they are gone. Uh, we will also drop, for sure, this, this, this already happened. We dropped the Graupner uh, Sum H protocol. That was also like only a few cases in the last six months. So we can just safely assume that the protocol is dead. And because Graupner even provided firmware that uh, upgrades this to Sum D, uh, then come on, if you are using some age, that means that you are using something super legacy. Of course, uh, it's too early to say about all the new features that will come into the INAF 6. There will definitely be uh, at least a few of those. Uh, one of them will be, for example, the uh, track back return to home. Uh, so that means that the craft will fly the same route that it came. Uh, it will not fly back on the straight line, but it will be able to make it fly exactly the same route uh, you took the craft to the place when you enabled the return to home. And then improvements here, improvements there. Uh, we still have like uh, five months of the development for the INAF 6. So a lot of things might happen. If you would like to know more about INAF, here is the video for you. In the meantime, I'm Paweł Spychalski. Thank you very much for watching and like always, happy flying!